This is the inner sphere. Thousands of planets colonized by humankind. Once it was united under the Star League. But for the last 300 years, it has been consumed by savage wars. Until a new enemy appeared. Mysterious invaders known as the Clans. Powerful and ruthless, they struck like lightning, attacking every sector at once. But they made one big mistake. They attacked my home planet. Now in the spirit of the Star League, ancient enemies have reunited. And we're gonna take back our galaxy. massive damage in what looks to be more fighting could erupt at any moment certainly confusing times the question of where to place loyalty across the inner sphere the civil war between the noble houses continues open warfare has divided the federated commonwealth and suffer the conflict between house steiner and house davian rages on new tensions in the chaos march threaten to again spark fighting between former comrades Colonel David Renard and his executive officer, Major Kelly, have peacefully divided the command of their forces on Carver 5. The longtime friends carefully separated their troops into House Steiner and House Davian military containment zones. Colonel Renard had this to say about the Davian withdrawal. We needed time to, uh, to regroup, to look at ourselves, uh, ask who we were. Where did our loyalties truly lie? For me, and the brave men and women under my command, the answer was clear. They were with Archon Katrina Steiner. They weren't with any rebels. But I am here to tell you, the first shot will not be fired by anyone under my command. This was the scene on Carver 5 just two days ago. In a series of daring raids, a banded army consisting of tanks and light battle mechs seized several Steiner outposts, stealing supplies and capturing several weapon facilities. Archon Katrina Steiner was quick to rule out the deployment of additional troops to deal with the bandit threat. Sending additional Steiner forces to Karma 5 will give the Davian rebels another excuse to bathe a peaceful planet in blood. An alternative solution must be found. Nerves are certainly frayed in the Steiner territory. Refugees continue to stream from the planet. Still more bandit attacks. The mercenaries are due to arrive shortly, ending weeks of speculation. I'll ask you again. Was it smart for the Archon to hire mercenaries to deal with the bandit army on Carver 5? Of course it was smart. It was the best thing she could have done. Think about it. Mercenaries don't care about sides or politics. They care about getting paid. All of the great houses use them. Liao, Karida, Merrick, even your precious Davians use them. That's why the Davian commander has agreed to this solution. Kelly knows that once the bandits are dealt with, the mercenaries will pull out. Looks like we're already famous, Commander. They think we won't be staying long, but based on the supplies you ordered, I'd say you've got other plans. Back. Hey guys, this is Goji Kaicho, and uh, for uh, this week's weekend wind down, we ran a poll, and um, the people have spoken. You guys wanted to see us 
go for another try at Operation Sleepy Weasel. And uh, so here we are, I'm Mech Commander 2. Um, little bit of a uh, backstory of this game. It's not exactly one of my favorite in the Mech Warrior um, series, basically because, well, one, if it's a video game, unless it's like Battletech HBS, it's it's not really that, it's not really canon, or if it has any canonicity, it's very apocryphal. Now, Mech Commander 2 had some really interesting things like this, the encyclopedia. Um, basically, it can give you a rundown of all the mechs that are in the game. Um, also, history. So you've got right here a very, very brief synopsis of the rise and collapse of Star League. The Warring Houses, um, very brief, very, very brief there. Uh, Return of the Clans, uh, the clan invasion summed up very, very shortly there. Uh, the start of the the Fedcom Civil War, and it touches on flashpoints. It doesn't really get too into detail. And then the War on Carver 5, which was the War on Carver 5 is Mech Warrior 4 Vengeance. And it is not canonical at all to the story. So here's your different characters in the game. And uh, oh yeah, look, bitch resting bitch face. Um this game has got some questionable acting. Um and it is very limited in what it could do. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't like real-time strategy. I like to take my time in a turn-based strategy type game and formulate a strategy, a plan of attack, you know, kit my mechs out to what I think I'm going to need, you know. Um, this game does not let you do that. This game is all on the fly. And um, so, that's the thing though with all the mods that came out for other mech games I'm, I'm wondering why nobody did a total conversion mod of this to where they could you could play it as turn-based because that would be really cool okay so we're gonna start a new campaign here um uh, let me see load wait wait carver 5 campaign Okay, and go ahead and load. Carver 5 campaign. Loading. And it's taking its time. Here we go. Unfortunately, this version of the game that I've got does not have the really bad acting. Um, check. The cutscenes. Those are great. <laughs> All right, sir, we're online. Fedcom software is pretty reliable, but we need to run some systems checks to make sure we're fully operational. At the beginning of each mission, you should mm -hmm. review our objectives. Got it. You can access them at any time by hitting the objectives button. Hmm. Okay. Welcome to Carver 5, Commander. I'm Colonel Renard. While under contract with House Steiner, you will be taking your orders from me. The mm. bandit scouting party has entered the okay. area. I suspect they're here to get a glimpse of you. Time to earn your money. Well, let's go give them a look. Now, Here we, we go, sir. Bushwhacker Objective Prime, Bushwhacker. Oh, a Razorback. Airfield for bandits. The airfield is located at the number one on your tactical map at the lower left of the screen. Are they moving? They are moving. Okay. So left click, left click, okay. Yeah, the graphics did not hold up well. <laughs> Good. Let's do a weapon test before we engage any hostiles. Order all units to destroy that hangar over there. Okay. Objective complete. All right. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna destroy these infantry. 
Oh look, here they are. All I got is just little machine guns. What are they? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Okay. All right. So we've got what looks like a centipede. Yep. See, this is what I don't like, man. They automatically fire. You know, it's not like it's not turn-based. This to me is not battle tech. This is just top-down mech warrior. Oh, LRMs are the devil, man. Okay. All right. Get up here, guys. Come on. Wow. Why? Alright, centipede's down. Got another centipede up there, he's about to die. Oh, he's missing with that PPC. Get him! Nice work, Kyle. All right. We should repair our units before engaging more enemies. Check your support tab and call in a repair truck. Remember that support is limited by our resource points or RPs, so don't waste them. Okay. Got a VTOL coming in. Yep, bringing us a repair truck. Do a little bit of repair there. Long shot here. Good to go. Flash here. Back in action. All right, let's go up here north of this and ah, there we go. Bingo. Okay, here we go. There's my guys. All right. Only as fast as the slowest guy. That one bushwhacker back there, man. Okay, so we got bogeys. Objective complete. Sir, we've got more bandits on the other side of this forest. I see Even it. Even though our line of sight is blocked, we can still detect them using the sensors on our Razorback scout mech. Go get them. Oh, it's an Irby. It's the Irby Derby. I love this job. Irby with no pilot. Probably gonna need a lot of repairs though. There's another one. Well, that one, that one's stack pole. Here's a good opportunity to salvage an enemy mech, Commander. Select the salvage craft from our support tab and target a disabled urban mech. One of our mech warriors will fly in and take control of it.
Urban Mech Prime. What is this, a clan mech? Probably. It's a prime configuration. See, this is the weird thing. Um, you started to see Intersphere Omnimax after the clan invasion, and all of a sudden you had prime configurations of these things, or, you know, something similar, and it was just weird. And to me, who is not a fan of the clan invasion, or any kind of iteration of clan anything, um, it was just ew, bad, bad, bad all around. And um, so let's see. Now we got this Irby. We got to go down here to this low water ford and cross the river. But yeah, um, you started seeing all these weird things like so so and so prime or this and that prime and. You're like, no, no, it's just a, it's just a insert name here, you know. <clears throat> and, um, it was just, it was confusing in a lot of cases. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go. We got bogeys incoming. What do we got? Oh, shit, okay. These guys are pretty well equipped harasser. Let's get the harasser, get the harasser, boom, okay. Boom, LRM's gone. See, now this is the problem. You want that Star Slayer, right? You've already got the Irby. I don't think there's any more salvage points for it. I mean, I would rather have the Star Slayer, really. But I think we just blew a cannon right off that guy, so. See, no pilot. Now watch this. Boop. Can't. All right, so let's just get to the extraction point, uh, and we'll just bugger off. Now, does this game have problems? Yes. Um, could these problems be easily modded out? Yes. Um, I think the biggest problem would be what what engine this game used and can modern programmers fix that the problems of the game um this is all this is the technology used to make this is almost like lost tech you know i mean it's been so long since this game came out that well you know Okay, so we finished that mission. All right. Oh, god damn it. Mission there we go. Successful. Oops. Ah, I think it's going to do this every time. Okay, so we get to select a specialty skill for Flash. Flash is in one of our bushwhackers. So. Hmm. Let's go with toughness. Okay. Okay, hacksaw. He gets a campaign ribbon. He participated. <laughs> she participated. And meat. One, two vehicle kills, okay. And he participated, so done. There we go. A Steiner base has been taken over by bandits, an embarrassment to Colonel Renard. Eliminate defenders and recapture the base headquarters. Next. Our orders are to handle this quietly, sir. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed if bandits took one of my outposts, too. <clears throat> the bandits seem limited to short oh, and God, fire ant. Weapons, so remember Ooh. to bring in some long-range mechs. Fire ant is basically just a, diff a 
variation of the flea. It's it's just a little piece of shit mech. Um, so let's see. Bandit forces surprised and captured Steiner Base Gemini in the Atom Sector, forcing the garrison station there to retreat. Colonel Renard has postponed most of his meetings because of this and has ordered hourly updates on the situation until the base is recaptured. Your orders are to eliminate bandit presence at base Gemini and recapture the headquarters building. Steiner Recon reports bandit composition of urban mech and fire ant battle mechs with significant LRM carrier and hover tank support. Um, tactical officer notes bandits took a Steiner base. I'd hate to be the officer that let that happen. I know urban mechs carry medium range auto cannons, which in this game, medium range auto cannon just means AC-10. While fire ants are most mostly armed with short range flamers. Yeah, I know, and they're they're sadly easy to take out. I mean, I'd suggest good long range mechs with some short range backup. You don't want to get yourself into a knife fight if all you got are LRMs. I don't plan on having nothing but LRMs. The bandits use a lot of vehicles too, which are slower going uphill, so if you're getting swarmed by a bunch of centipedes, move to the top of the hill and pick them off as they try to come up after you. It normally does not work that way in Battletech. That's a pretty easy way to get killed in this real Battletech. So. Here you decide right. which mechs we take on the next mission by placing them on the deployment team. You're only limited by how much team weight we can transport to the deployment zone. Okay. So let's see what kind of mechs we can buy or sell. We've got 123,000 sea bills. So let's see what we can buy. Now we this could buy another bushwhacker. We could buy a hunchy. Most houses offer different mechs depending on how much service we've provided. So the longer we've been working with them, the better our choices are. I check back here every few missions to see if we've got something new. We're going to buy that hunchy. Because I want a hunchy. Alright, so... Razorback. Let's take the urban mech. We'll, we'll put the urban mech in storage. Um, let's... Get that bushwhacker. We'll put it here and we'll take the hunchy. We'll put the hunchy here. I guess we can take the Irby, huh? Oops. Alright, um... So we got a Bushwhacker Razorback. Razorback is our ECM mech. Um... Next, okay. So meet Here you'll assign a pilot to each mech hunchback next mission. Click on the pilots in the available pilots list to view their information. He's a sensor Click specialist. On the mech in the deployment she is a laser or well, he is a laser specialist. Okay, so we want to go for an auto cannon specialist. But we don't have one. Um She's toughness. She doesn't have a speciality, huh? She's still green. Okay, so regular. He's a medium AC specialist, so let's see. Remove pilot. We'll put meat. Well, no, because... Let's go back one. Let's look at the mech. Medium AC. Okay, and this one is a heavy AC. Laser, jump jets. Okay. Okay, Twitch. We'll put Twitch there. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to play with our new Hunchback. Hunchy! The old Hunch Punch. Our first objective is to capture that resource building north of our drop zone. Okay. We can use the resource points it gives us to call in support pieces. It. We got it. We got only it. Mechs can capture enemy buildings, so select only mechs when giving a capture command. Enemy resources captured. Yay!
Okay. So yeah, we got that. All right, now. Base Gemini South. Um. Brr. Okay, let me see here. How do you wait? How do you turn? Oh, you turn like that. Okay. So we want to go this way. We are getting readings. We're getting blips. Ah, here we go. Detected. Boom. Because infantry need to die. All right. All right, we are not taking any real damage from the infantry and good. We don't have that fire ant on the board anymore. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. We got something coming up from the rear. Oh. What do we got? Oh, a cargo truck. Boom. All right. Let's hit this lookout tower. Okay. Portable. Uh, ah. Turret generator. The best way to deal with bases is to capture the control buildings inside such as turret controls and gate controls. This will force the gate's own turrets to work for us instead of you. through the wall here. Roger. I'm on him. Kill the Irby. This base supports a sensor grid maintained by a sensor control building. It will allow us to detect any enemies within range of these sensors. Nice work in securing this area, Commander. Before we hit the bandits to the north, we might want to scout around for more resource buildings. Oh, yeah. Let's go get that. I got the building. Roger. Enemy resources captured. I got the building. 
All right, so we got those resources. Let's see. Okay. Ah, okay, we'll go this way. Oh. LRM carrier. They seem to be using a lot of those. Enemy destroyed. I'm on it. Okay. Enemy resources captured. Shot here. Target locked in. Roger that. What do we got? Catch him from behind. <laughs> Get him! Alright. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Alright, that's ours. And let's go ahead and we'll get this turret. Ours. All right. Next. Okay. Yeah, we want to go down this way. Mech power up detected. I got it, I got it. Oh. So let's go Twitch, and he is going to go over here. Uh, Twitch here. Ah, my path is blocked. All right, we'll go here. Okay, and then uh, we will bring meet along with you okay so these two are going to jump over here because there is a up in here on this side of that base there is another depot and i want it i want what's in that depot right there
Enemy resources captured. I got it, I got the building. Roger that. Mech power up detected. Turrets deactivated. Oh, that was easy. Huh. There wasn't anything I wanted to salvage there anyway, so hey, saved money. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, this good is lord. This is our salvage screen, sir. According to our... Let's crack at any mechs left on the battlefield after a mission. It'll cost sea bills to salvage a mech. Ah. Uh. all refits and repairs. Not a bad deal. Who knows? Let's save. Let's sell these. <laughs> we will sell all of them. Yay! Promoted to regular. Okay. Promoted to regular. Ah, long shot. She's in a. Mm. I'm trying to think what what long shot was in. Um, let's go with. Well, we need a. Let's see, light auto cannon specialist. No, medium auto cannon specialist. Let's go with that one. Hey, he got a campaign ribbon. Nice. Okay. Hang on just a second. I need to check something. Okay, it is. Yeah, okay, it is going. My bad. I did start it. It is still going great. Okay, I just needed to check that for a second because... I didn't know because the way that it's been kind of glitchy on this game, um, and y'all have to pardon me because you guys have to pardon me on that. Basically, this is just one of those really old games that doesn't like to work well with modern in combination with modern software. Um, it, I've tried to record it before and it took forever and a day to figure out just a basic way of getting it to work full screen with the cam so we will see okay ambush and acquire mobile hq steiner intel has tracked them bandit mobile hq vehicle with armed escorts moving toward one of their bases intercept and capture it okay all right so one destroy fuel tanks okay two destroy enemies at checkpoint okay 
3. Capture Mobile HQ. Now, excellent work at base Gemini. Steiner officers have completed reoccupation of the base without incident. Interrogation of the bandits at Gemini revealed the existence of a heavily armed convoy escorting a mobile HQ vehicle moving toward the Carroll sector. Intel calculates that the convoy destination must be the bandit resupply station located in the sector. Renard wants the HQ vehicle captured and its data cores analyzed. Pending the decryption of the data cores, you will receive further instruction in the field. Tactical Officer notes, I've been studying the map Steiner Recon provided and it looks like the best place to hit the convoy will be at the checkpoint south of the res resupply station. Firing from the top of the hills near the checkpoint will give us a tactical advantage against the convoy's guards. The bandits use this resupply station to field and maintain max. That means there's a good chance we'll find munitions or even a weapons facility. Okay. Mine cell max. Uh... New battle max available. We're selling this. Okay. And we're selling two of these. Oh, a shootist. Hey. So now we got a shootist, all right. Which the shootist, oh, nice. Okay. So our weight limit. Our current, okay, so we can take, let's see, let's drop the Irby. Actually, we'll sell one of our Irbys. Okay, so we, yeah, all right. So let's go ahead and our shootest we can't take. So um, do that, we'll do the shootest. And oh, oh. Okay, so we'll leave the Hunchy at home, and we will take the other Bushwhacker. No, we won't. Um, we will take the Razorback and the Irby. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so this one's got a heavy auto cannon, lasers, machine guns. This one's got... Okay, so yeah, I know who's going to be piloting that one. That one, yeah, I know who's going to be piloting that one. So next, let's go shootist. Um, medium AC specialist twitch. There's a laser, the sensor. He's a sensor specialist. She's a toughness specialist. So she'll go on the razor back. Herbie, meat. Shootist. Hmm. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give them that. Okay, so we're going to launch. Here we go. Launching this mission. All right, here we go. I've taken control of your console for tactical review, sir. Why? The convoy will be taking this road to the base. Give it we back. We should take out this military checkpoint and ambush the convoy. I need that. Through here. Unfortunately, the enemy has set themselves up pretty well. The turret controls are very well protected. It'll be tough getting to them without being shot up. Let's get passes. behind them and blow and the generators. We can fire at those fuel tanks. Boom. Destroying a fuel tank will cause a large explosion damaging everything within the blast radius. We can also try Below shooting those generators. generators. Yeah. It'll damage those generators, I'll guarantee that. All right, let's see. Um, now we want to go up here. We want to get down here. Whoa. So let's go here, guys. Come on.
Yay! We got him running now. Okay. Work, sir. Those Long hills overlooking the road Top are target. excellent ambush points. Firing from Ooh. high ground gives us a better chance of hitting Flash died. armor and cockpit. Once you get your mix up on those hills, order them to hold position. Yeah. holding position, pilots will not move unless given a direct order, firing from where they stand. That convoy should be here any minute now. Our objective is to capture the HQ vehicle while destroying its guards. Careful. If the HQ vehicle is destroyed, we fail the mission. Also, enemy convoys often contain resource trucks. Don't blow them up. Capturing them gives us resource points, just like capturing a resource hey, building, just not as much. This flash wasn't that tough. I mean, shit. Wow. Holy crap, man. That's a lot of damage. Long shots in the bushwhacker, and then the meat. Yeah, meat needs repairs. Holy shit, man. Wow. Really? Okay. Are you going to fix it or not? Come on. Okay. Let's get long shot fixed. Get that arm fixed and then we'll get Herbie's leg fixed. Right, you pukes. Damn truck. Let's get that mobile HQ. Wow. Uploading data from the HQ vehicle now. Roger. I'll enemy resources capture minutes. So this data contains the command structure of the whole bandit army. Uh oh. I know this guy. The leader of the bandits is a guy named Vaughn. He's an officer for House Liap. I don't know what's going on, but I think this job just got more complicated. Rowan? Oh. I got it. 
Good for you. All right. Enemy resources captured. Dead. Okay. Yay, we got more resources. All right, hey, we got artillery. We can do airstrikes. Nice. I chalk this up. To, well, the amount of damage I'm taking here, I gotta chalk it up to the fact that my pilots, even though they're regulars, they're not that familiar with the weapon systems. And okay, so what do we got here? We got a gate. Okay, yeah, all right. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's get up there and blow them away. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem with this game. It just does not... Um, what's the word I'm wanting to say? It, um... I like, I like it better when, you know, it lets you decide which ones of your... Ooh, stack pole. It lets you decide which ones of your mechs that you want to use in what's you know whatever turn and oh god here we go counterattack all right skipper you got yourself a stash of pulse laser weapons yay it's a simple trade-off they do more damage than regular lasers but they generate more heat yep that is true and we got a bandit counterattack uh coming from what direction now commander Steiner just informed me that there's a large bandit force heading our way. Really? We need some support. Capture any resource buildings in the area. We can use the RPs to call in fixed artillery. Okay, well, let's look and see what we got here. Okay. 
Um. You see, that's a problem. That is going to be a problem because, yeah. Now, what's this up here? Fleas. Die, fleas, die! The fleas must die. Oh, a Star Slayer. I might be getting one. Depends on how many parts are left. God damn. Yay! He ejected. Okay. Yep. I think we got a full Star Slayer on the board, guys. Oh God! Here we go again. Yeah. Mission successful. All right. So let's see. We're gonna take the Star Slayer. We're gonna take all these fire ants and we're gonna sell them. Okay. Long shot. Let's see how many kills she gets. Okay. What does she get? Medal awarded. Valor. Meat gets how many? Three. Tail Rider gets 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, 10. You got, yeah, Campaign Ribbon and Valor, Twitch, 2, 3, 2. <laughs> well, he tried. <laughs> and then that one died. The one that I had heard be a toughness specialist. Okay, so our next mission, we got to intercept and destroy a bandit convoy fleeing into Capellan territory. Oh. Capellants. All right. Elements of a forward recon unit have spotted a large bandit convoy moving northeast in the general direction of Capellan territory. Intercept and destroy the convoy, eliminating every mech, truck, and vehicle. Do not, however, stray into Capellan territory unless Colonel Renard personally authorizes such an action. House Steiner cannot risk either the political or military repercussions at this time. Be prepared to receive orders in the field if you must approach Capellan territory. Why are we being so cautious? It's just Capellans. Tactical officer notes, since we'll be searching and chasing down a bandit convoy, we should be taking in fast mechs and at least one scout mech with sensors. Bushwhackers for their speed and razorbacks for sensor capabilities. Okay. Keep an eye out for resource buildings. There's liable to be a few around. One thing bugs me about this mission, Sir House Liao. This could get messy. I'll say that it probably will. All right, so fire ant. One, two, three, four. Oh, a Zeus. Do we want a Zeus? Three pulse lasers, two PPCs, five LRN. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, we can buy that one just to say we got it. Uh, this one's got that, that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, speed wise, it's 86. This one's 65. This one's 86. Okay, so this one and this one are compatible. All right, 65, 65. Okay. 
So what we want to do, we want the Irby. We're going to, well, its speed is 86, but we're going to leave the Irby at home. We're going to take the Razor back because it's really fast. Okay. The shoot is not going to take it. We're going to take the Star Slayer. And we're going to take a Bushwhacker. Okay, so two Bushwhackers, a Star Slayer. Well, I think we can go a little heavier. Let's take our Shootist. Alright, so we got one, two, three fast mechs and a, a kind of an eh mech. Alright, so he is our medium AC specialist. This one's got a heavy AC. This one is streak laser. Flash is not dead. Okay. So we're going to put Flash in a mech that... Hold on. He's our laser specialist. So let's remove him. Okay, so Flash. You can go back in your Razorback. Um, actually, no. Pale Rider, you go there. Okay, you're not going with us t this time, Flash. So... Which laser specialist goes in the wait? Shootist? No. Star Slayer. And as for the shootist, um, let's give Hammer a shot. We're gonna let a newbie. We're gonna let a newbie take the shootist out. Let's see if we can get this done, guys. All right, so here we all are. Now, okay, so our first point is over this way. Whoa. Where? Oh. Bunch of centipedes and some LRMs. Alright. Knock out those missiles. Knock out the missiles. There you go. Oh yeah, dead. Okay. Ah, there's something over here. Oh, I see. They've got more. Nice. Okay. Enemy resources captured here. 
Copy target. Building secured. Get him. Objective complete. I got him. Mercenary commander, you're in violation of Liao territory. Turn back or be destroyed. Liao Control, this is Lieutenant Diaz, Tactical Officer. We are pursuing bandits on behalf of House Steiner. We respectfully request Objective that you do not complete. interfere with our mission. We're tracking no bandits in our territory, Lieutenant. You may consider your mission successful. Commander, I have no idea what House Liao is up to, nor do I care. Your mission is to destroy all bandit forces. If anyone attempts to impede your mission, you will destroy them. There is a weapons facility to the north of your position. Capture it. We will exact payment from House Liao for their interference. Once your objectives are complete, move to the extraction point. Okay. Whoa, 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 no. Right there, right there, right here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to airstrike that bitch. Airstrike confirmed. Commencing countdown. Long shot here. Target locked in. Do it. Do it. Long shot here. Copy target. Turrets deactivated. Helen Herbies. <laughs> All right. That's a dead harasser. There's another dead harasser. Oh, they okay. blew up their Shayu. Okay. Um. Hmm. Power up, 
Where? Oh, okay. Anubis. We got Gauss rifles, man. That is too easy. And we got an Anubis. Alright, we got an Anubis. And... Okay, Anubis Prime. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, look. Long shot here. Target locked in. It's an ammo dump. Okay. It's another Anubis. He just didn't get the memo. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Getting a lot of little powered armor bullshit going on here. Okay. We just destroyed all that power armor. Um, this, yeah, he's getting swarmed. There's some swarmies going on over here. Um, yeah, it's over here. Oh, oops. I think I just lost, nope, yep, just lost meat, okay. Let's destroy that. Blam. Oh, looky here. They're coming out to play, are they? There's more supplies. Let's shot you. Let's yeah. Let's kill him. Kill him and take his mech. Is it going to stack pole? No. Okay. God damn it. There's another Anubis. God damn. God damn. Holy shit! Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen that happen. Okay, uh, let's go get these resources. See if there's anything else over here that we can Ooh. <laughs> Fuck Enemy you. resources captured. Hail rider here. Boom. Roger. Alright. Now. Let's see, I think we wanna go. Where do we want to go? We want to go up that way. I think that's our extraction point. Oh, we tried, guys. We tried to get an Anubis, but oh, what? Hey, what's this? Oh, stop. There was something that moved over here. Ah. Copy 
was that? I got serving. There was something over here. Oh, look, there it is. It's over here. Oh, there's that Anubis. Okay. Let's see what's over here. That's a helicopter. God damn it. Okay. Hammer here. Die, Choppa, die. Enemy down. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we can go home with this Shayu. That would be neat. I would like that. I would like that very much. If the if the RNG if if, if RNG Jesus is with us. Okay, now we've killed all filthy capellans. Let's get out of here. My core lance made it. I guess really the only way we were going to be able to successfully get the heck out of there was uh, if we just did not take salvage as we went, but just, we, Objective yeah. Complete. All right, here we go. Let's see how much we ended up getting. 62,000, it looks like, uh, well, we'll find out here in the next screen, I guess, or the next time. Whoa, continue. Mission successful. Yay, okay. So, we got two Anubises. We got Herbies, Fire Ants, okay. Alright. Good shot, kid. Long shot, what you got? Three, four, five, six, a bunch of vehicles. Two max, three max, you get another Valor medal. Four max, five, six, yeah, oh, damn. Long shot, you are killer, you, you are like player of the, yeah. Nice. Meat, Purple Heart, he got wounded. Yeah, he was the one that got shot up in that, that 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 uh, Anubis Twitch Oh, somebody's getting valor. Nice. Okay. Liao raid night ops. Steiner is commencing strikes against Liao. Drop into Liao territory and engage multiple targets of opportunity. Yay, targets of opportunity. Okay, so our mission objectives. Destroy fuel tanks. Capture weapons facility. Capture repair bay. Capture prison complex. Extract. And optional here is capture resource trucks. So, Colonel Renard has ordered the, the commencement of operations against House Liao. Drop into the Capellan controlled Darien sector. Highest priority is the capture of the prison complex and rescue of a Steiner operative held there. Other priority targets are the fuel tank reserves, weapons facility, and repair bay in the sector. Target rich environment indeed. Steiner Crypto reports that the mobile HQ captured in the Carroll sector contains log files showing that Liao has been funding the bandits with weapons and sea bills and supplying Steiner enemies with military equipment is an act of aggression and Steiner High Command does not like that and has ordered active defensive measures in air quotes against House Liao. <laughs> very, very questionable defensive measures. Okay, so our tactical officer notes, things are getting hot on Carver 5, Commander. We're not taking on some local gangs this time. 
We are attacking one of the major houses of the Inner Sphere. I hope you know what you're doing. Kinda. <laughs> Be careful around the fuel tanks. An explosion can destroy even heavy mechs. Take medium or long range mechs and fire on those tanks from a distance. I've seen other commanders purposely ignite fuel tanks from long range to cripple nearby enemies. Liao typically fields fast, maneuverable units and has the best electronics and sensor gear available. All that speed has a price, though. Liao mechs are lightly armored. Of, of, of course, they're Capellans. They, they drive pieces of shit. Overrated pieces of shit. Okay, so we want mediums. Okay, so our, yeah, let's see. Um, Anubis. Large laser jump jets. LRMs. Okay, so we've got, what is that, a heavy and three mediums. That's a light. Anubis is a light. It's a 30 ton light. Hmm, but it's got a large laser. All right, so we can't take the Hunchy. We can't take the Zeus. This is a, what, 70 ton heavy? Okay, so if we take the Hunchy, we can take the other Bushwhacker. All right. So we got medium, 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 medium. All right. All right, so let's look at this. We need a medium AC specialist. So meat, you're getting in there. This one. Rider, hammer. Let's get you some more experience on these mechs, kiddo. All right. Wait a minute. Me. It's got a PPC. This one. Two lasers and a heavy. Uh, okay, two lasers and an AC-20. Okay. All right, so this is going to be the last mission that we run tonight. Um, but yeah, now that we know that this is going to record, albeit a little wonky, we are going to run our next episode of this um, probably sometime next week. I mean, like I said, I'm not really a fan of I'm not really typically a fan of the um, this game. I mean, I love BattleTech, Mech Warrior, that kind of thing. I think they're, you know, they're real fun. But this is just oh god. Okay, what do we got here? A spotlight. All right. So we're going to have that blowing up, and then we're going to go and blow that up. Hammer here. I got him. Yeah, sure, you got it. Hammer here. Copy that target. No problem, boss. Actually, no, you haven't. You were just watching that guy stack ball. I'm on him. It's me. Target confirmed and locked in. Yes, sir. Hammer here. I got him. Roger that. It's me. I got him. I reach you, sir. Partisans. Good old LRM carrier. Boom. Yes,
Oh, nice. Okay. Complete. You got yourself some ER energy weapon technology. ER stands for extended range. Same damage, but fires farther. All right. So. All right, Max, let's go. Let's go get this stuff over here. Watch it blow all those troops up. That's an airfield. Woo! Oh, a storm! Okay, so we've got this airfield that we've totally trashed. Let's go up here and see what we can find up here. Um, we're going to be taking the high road. Now, this right here, auto cannon turret, auto cannon turret. We're going to have to take these turrets down. Ooh, a vedette. This is not going to last long for them. LRM carrier. Carriers of the devil. There we go. Spotlight control. Fuck. Goddamn centipede. Dead. Okay. I got the building. I read you, sir. Okay, so three and then a. Uh, let's go up here. What is up here? Ah, nice. Okay, Anubis.
Now let's go up here to A and blow up this thing. Yep, Shaw you, no pilot. Alright, so let's see. Nothing, 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 nothing. Alright. We just took care of that, I think. Get him! That's the one thing though, Shy you, you're never. Oh, hey, we can salvage a Shy you. No, we can't. God damn it. Okay, anyway. We might actually get a couple of Shy yous out of this. All right. I got him. So, oh, where? Oh, I read you, sir. Enemy resources captured. Enemy resources captured. Those are the only two? Yep, those are the only two. God damn. Alright, well, we got those. That is complete. Now. Oh, I might use airstrikes. I might have to. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got a prison. Good.
Okay, heavy industrial, na, na, na. turret control. Ah. Jesus Christ, man. Roger that. All right, come on. Objective complete. All right, jailbreak. Transport to extract it, sir. All if he checks out, I'll right add him to the target. roster. Okay. Okay, so simple extract. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. The new kid is actually doing really well. I'm surprised. Hammer is doing quite well. Objective complete. Yeah, a lot of money. 79k, we got our set, yeah, secondary objective and everything. Wow. Oops. Ah, well. Mission successful. It's an old game, it's finicky. All right, so let's get this shy you. Let's get this shy you. Well, actually, no. Let's get that shy you. Because we're going to rebuild one of these things. It's a, I guess it's a medium mech. It looks kind of neat. But again, it's a Capellan mech. Hammer, let's see. Enough to make him a regular yet? Damn, look at the kills this kid's got. Not yet. Go long shot.
meat, nothing. <laughs> Twitch. Two, three, four. Damn. He's killing quite a few. Metal worded. Valor. Yeah. All right. So when we come back, guys, our next mission will be the defensive count, defensive counter base Ares, where we detect, intercept, and negate enemy forces that are attempting to penetrate Steiner's base. Um. So basically, the rundown of this is: emergency communications, Yellow Jacket Recon reports large numbers. Of Yellow Jacket Recon. Wow. Okay, when you use yellow jackets for a recon, you know something's up. Okay, so, uh, they report large numbers of Liao forces vectoring toward the Fetter sector. Anticipated target is Base Ares. Eliminate all attacking Liao forces and safeguard Base Ares headquarters. This sector also contains a sensor control with sensor tower network and a turret control. These are high-risk targets for the Liao offensive. Acquisition of these buildings are secondary objectives. Uh, the technical officer notes for this. It looks like Renard's actions against Liao have sparked a powder keg. Liao and Steiner are openly attacking each other. And we've got mission assignments all over Carver 5. The commander of this base overextended his forces, fa uh, falling for a feint executed by bandit skirmishers. He's lost the sensor tower network and turret control protecting the northern section of a major road. Taking these back would give us an edge. We need at least one fast mech to capture those control buildings, but we'll also need some power to defend them afterwards. Otherwise, Liao forces will just recapture these buildings. In a major offensive like this, expect to see some Ravens. They're equipped with ECMs, which will, yep, yeah, of course, quote the Raven Arrow 4. All right, so we got that guy. An interesting little medium. We got the hunchy, got a bunch, we got some bushwhackers, but if we take out that and we'll put in the Zeus, so we've got that heavy, or the, oh sorry, we've got an assault, we've got the medium, we've got that medium, but we can take that medium out and put in another heavy. So we've got two heavies. A medium and, and two well, two heavies and two mediums in which case three medium lasers two large lasers jump jets and two armor I'd rather have that AC 20 and two medium lasers because let's see this probably can do a bit more damage so the amount of armor, da, 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 medium range attack. Modify the mech. Oh wait, 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 wait. Available. Cancel. Let's well, let's look at the hunchy. Kind of okay. That's heat generated. That's the rate of fire. Damage. Okay. Damage cause. That's twelve. Two and a half. Two and a half. So a total of is he, 12 and 5, that's 17 damage total for the Hunchy. Okay. Now, let's go to the Star Slayer or 8. Eight and five, that's thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Could actually potentially do more damage. Yeah, let's drop the jumpies. Drop one of those. We're gonna take armor. Okay. Move that, okay. Let's see, we can take machine guns. We can't take a light auto cannon. Whoa. Oh, wait, I don't think we've got enough room, do we? Eight 
AC5. So that does four, that does four, that's eight. 10, 11, 12, 14 and a half damage. Remove that armor and we can put in, ooh, an ER laser, pulse laser. Pulse laser does two damage, ER laser does two and a half. So. Oh, large pulse. ER large. Ooh, that's 12 heat. Damn. We'll put in that large pulse. Okay, so the heat generated. Ooh. Let's give this another heat. Let's give this a heat sink. Oh. Okay. ER large. Oh, we are really pushing that. We've got it right there. It's mm, 32 and 58. Oh, shit. Yeah, if, no, we can't do it with a Star Slayer. We can't turn the Star Slayer into a murder boat. Uh, let's see. Now the Shayu, which is a 40 ton medium, it already has a pulse laser. So, We got two of those. So let's see, that's got a pulse laser, medium uh, medium AC, and large laser. Let's see, now if we took the large laser out and we put in an ER or a large pulse. And then we took this out and put in just a regular medium pulse take the jumpies out okay ooh that's got yeah intermediate sensors shit it's got good armor pretty decent heat sinking what if we did this? ER laser, pulse laser. So let's do two pulse lasers. Yeah, the heat sinking is way better. Um, and it's got the medium auto cannon. Let's go ahead and uh, the usual. Stupid. Hmm. Capellan stupid. Okay. Capellan idiot. All right. Shootist. What can we get away with? Let's modify this one a little bit. Okay. So let's take these out. Okay, we're going to put in a couple of sinks. Take that out. And put another sink in. Okay. Now, heavy AC. And that. Okay. Take those out. What is that? Large laser? Take that out. Okay, now. PPC. Let's 
So it has a peep, an AC-20, and that. If I took one of these out and then put in another pulse laser, oh, ER. Oh my god, right in that arm, riding that curve. Holy crap. Let's see, if I took that out, that's going to lower my heat one. Okay, I'm going to put in a medium. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Gauss? A gauss, you say? Ooh, do tell. All right. Armor. Okay. Let's give it some measles. Some SRMs. And twenty one and thirty eight. That is There we go. And so what do we got here? 6, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19 damage capacity. Yeah, I kind of like that. Mm, big funky. Big funky. All right. And the Zeus. Pulse laser, PPC, large laser, LRM. Okay. Um, I don't think we need that many LRMs. So let's get more SRMs than LRMs. And then we're going to take these out. We're going to keep the peeps. The peeps are going to stay. Uh, large lasers, we're going to replace those with something better. All right. So first off. SRMs and they are streaks so you know they're good um, that okay three streaks two SRMs only two LRMs okay ER PPC regular PPC so if we wait ER peep does what kind of damage we talking seven and these do seven yeah they just have better range okay that one's long range that one's long range that one's medium range so let's see if we put more armor on this okay give it better armor Let's give it a little bit better heat sinking capacity. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we got 7, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26. 29. 32 damage. 32 damage for the Zeus. Yeah. Monstro. All right, now the bushwhacker. We're gonna modify this guy. Uh, so we're gonna take these out. Well, it's got ten. Okay, so machine guns buy. Okay, medium AC. You well, know, it's got the AC ten, but the PPC. That's a bit heavy, and it could use a little more armor.
All right. Missiles, we need SRMs. Oh. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. All right, now, lasers. Large pulse. Actually, wait. ERs. Holy shit, no. Okay. Those are way too hot. Okay, so I need at least a heat sink. Okay, so heat sink. LRMs on this bushwhacker. No, we're not going to go there. Um, so, do we want an ER large or do we want a larger? Yeah, let's get a large pulse ER laser. One. Okay, and another heat sink. That should bring it down pretty well. Okay, so that's, uh, what is that, an AC-10? Damage, six. Uh, light gauss. That's damage of six. Rate of fire one and a half. Rate of fire two point four, two point four, two point four, three, three. And it's got good armor, it's got good heat sinking. Yeah. Oops. Alright, cancel. Um tell you what we can do. Sell the Anubis, sell the Fire Ant, sell the Herbies. Don't I already have that? Wait, I've got one shot you, don't I? No? Okay. All right. So we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna do this PPC. No. Take the LRMs out. Take the machine guns out. Leave the armor in because leave the armor in. All right. Now armor that up to about three. Heat sink it to two. Now, SRMs. We're gonna go ER laser. 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 Light Gauss. Railgun. All right. Next. New mech warriors. <laughs> Pilots. Okay. So missiles. Steel. All right. Add pilot. Shootist. Um. Let's get psycho on the shootist. Shayu, we'll bring Hammer back. Put him on the Shayu. Okay. All right. And we're gonna go main menu. All right, guys, that'll be it for this time uh, for our weekend wind down. And next weekend, 
Well, we'll just see, won't we? And if you're a member of the channel on our Ko-Fi, um, and, and be aware, there are different levels of membership that you can join, but all levels of membership include exclusive video events every Sunday. So tomorrow will be the very first exclusive event for members only. And you won't be able to see it if you're not a member. So, hey, there's one good reason to join. Another good reason is, well, hey, at certain levels, say the medium or well, medium mech or heavy mech level, you would, you know, you could range you get your name on the credits as a production staff member, or in the case of the heavy mech level, you actually get to help us Pro, you know with programming you become a producer or a director and if we like your ideas we will help you develop them into a show for our channel that you will be able to broadcast on the channel and host and it will be great so also I know a lot of you guys like merch we're working on that okay donations to my channel are also going to help me get more resin for 3d printing so i'm going to post a photo of the prototype of big irby big irby is going to be a perk that we are going to be giving to our uh supporters uh at medium mech and heavy mech tier and it is a four inch desktop a four inch desk replica of an urban mech an r an r60 uh r60l urban mech and it will come to you unpainted separate from the base because the base and the thing come both separate the reason that it's going to be unpainted and unassembled is this everybody's got their own idea of what their ideal irby would be painted like and I just don't have enough paint so <laughs> and plus as much as i'd like to come up with a color scheme for the you know the the mechs of the worldwide goji kai or just a unified worldwide goji kai color scheme which that would be really interesting if any of you guys want to come up with a worldwide goji kai mech color scheme let me see it i want to see your ideas what it would look like on twitter so post those to my Twitter account. I would really love to see those. And really, you should consider becoming a member because membership is going to have perks. We're working on getting we're working on getting everything straightened out. You know, we've even got goals for helping us get better equipment here. Um, we're gradually going to be doing these as just goal after goal after goal we're not gonna go and try to get all of this money all at once because well we know times are tight and it's not just one person it's times are tight for everyone and so i mean even if you can't donate or you can't join right now that option is going to be open down the road if you do choose to some you know sometime but you know we're not going to put anybody's arm or you know or you know we're not going to hold anybody's arm back you know and say no give us money give us you know we're not going to shake anybody down for it because we have too much respect for our followers and our subscribers to do that so because you know here at wwgk we actually look at our followers we view our followers and our fans and our subscribers we view you as family so by following us, by subscribing to us, by joining one of our tiers on Ko-Fi, you are part of a bigger family. And that could be either in the Battletech community or that could be in the Kaiju fan community or the sci-fi sci -fi fan community overall. It doesn't matter. When you're here, you're WWGK and that's all that matters. And we help each other. We look out for each other. So, you guys take care, and we hope to see you on the flip side.
This has been Weekend Wind Down, and I'm Goji Kaicho, and I'll talk to you guys later.